Hey everybody, so in my previous video I showed you how I prepare my hair for wearing wigs and while I'm doing this I'm going to try to focus on balancing uh, my hair with moisture and protein. And so what I decided to do in, um, is two things. One is to use my Afro-G um, keratin, keratin and green, green tea reconstructorizer. I've you know, showed this in several videos before, but what I'm going to try to commit to doing is, you know, using this when I go um, and get on my workout bike. That way, one, I'm working out because I need to begin to work out. And then two, um, with this treatment, it, the directions say that body or styling heat locks in the treatment. So what I'm going to do is just pretty much like bagging my hair um, while I'm on the bike and I have this in my hair. So we'll see how that goes for the first, you know, few days of me wearing my protective style. So the instructions say after shampooing, spray liberally onto towel dried hair. I'm not going to shampoo every day, but I am going to miss my hair. Um, last night I missed after I finished um, braiding my hair. I did go back through with my rose water and glycerin. So this morning, I'm just going to use a little bit of water just to, you know, dampen the hair. And then I'm going to go back through with this um, keratin and green tea reconstructorizer and just, you know, spray a good amount onto my hair. And hopefully by doing this, I can maintain a good balance of protein and moisture because I plan to moisturize my hair maybe twice a day, for sure once a day. Um, do some type of moisture or sealing and moisturizing at the same time. So, and this apple G will be my protein. And plus I can use this up too because I'm trying to use my products up. Since I have a lot of products. So spray a generous amount of that. Into my hair and my edges. And then to baggy, um, for those of you that aren't really familiar with bagging, it's pretty much, you know, adding some type of, you can do moisturizer and sealing or, you know, I just do whatever. Bagging just helps the product penetrate more into your hair because you're putting actually a shower cap on your hair. You can baggy all day. You can baggy all night. I mean, I do different variations. Um, lately, I have been wearing a phony pony. Um, ponytail so I had all my hair slicked back put up, pulled up into a ponytail the ends that were in my hair I actually um, took a plastic plastic sandwich bag like this and cut the top off this top part off and I put conditioner and oil so I switched it out sometimes I would use my leave-in from not to um, the not today leave-in or sometimes I would use the 50 50 um, balance moisturizer from Giovanni or another type of balancing moisturizer that I had from um, another product um, and then I would use an oil any kind of oil like sometimes I use this jasmine oil or I use avocado oil and so I would put that um, down here so that I have maybe like a line of conditioner and oil and I kind of smushed it in and then I just open the bag and put it on top of my ends and put a like a, a scrunchie or something like that so it'll stay and then I put a shower cap on top of that and then I put my phony pony on. So I did that a few times the past few weeks and my ends 
were very soft and um, just well taken care of. You know, you have to take care of your ends while you're natural. So my hair, thank God, is at a length now that I can pull back into a ponytail um, and, you know, kind of put a bag on the end of it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see. I'll just go ahead and do it because I think I'm going to do that now before I go work out. So, so I'm going to take a ouchless band and pull my ends together in the back. Trying not to break any hairs. So I'm going to take a um, sandwich bag, and this is the snack bag made for the 100 calorie snacks and I'm going to cut the top off so today for the bagging I'm going to use the Ulucent's, um moisture balancing conditioner so I try to use some type of balancing because I know I've been using a lot of moisture and I just want to you know make sure that I am balancing and this uh, moisture balancing conditioner um, on the back it says boost moisture levels with lipids and proteins so it's a mixture of you know moisture based um, products and protein based products um, another good thing about moisture balancing is that it provides effortless combing to minimize breakage so that's the piece that I want to make sure that I'm minimizing breakage. So I just take this and just do like a line. And since it's just the end, then I don't really need a lot. I just do a line of conditioner. And I'm going to take, since I have the olive oil out from last night, do a little bit. Oh, that's probably too much of oil and I'm going to smush it in it's probably too much oil but oh well hopefully you'll be able to see this And I'm just going to cover this with a wig cap. One, so if it starts leaking, there's another layer to leak on. And two, it's kind of helped a minute when I put my wig on to help minimize any type of scrunching noise. And I'm, this is just like a the end of a pantyhose, of a knee high actually. So let's put that on there. Help it stay. And then while I'm on the bike, I'm going to put a shower cap on my head to kind of baggy this part. Sometimes I do wear a, my wig with the shower cap on. 
it just depends like if I'm at work probably not because I don't want to be scratching and it's like some crunching noise I might be in a meeting or something somebody would probably be like what is that but um for now I am gonna just put this shower cap on and get on the bike hey you guys so I'm back from my quick workout I just did 15 minutes on my bike um for I did four miles and burned 120 something calories so I'm feeling good but just wanted to show you how when you do the baggy me method and you go work out it's kind of like a steam treatment so I think it's a really good thing to kind of do for your hair while you're working out I don't know if you can see but you can see kind of like the moisture um, that's trapped in the cap which is a good thing and I'll show just what my hair looks like under here. You probably can't really see, but it's just damp. Just damp from me sweating up under here. My ends are wet, which is good. And I'm going to keep this, these, this part on. Probably until tomorrow. Um, I've kept this baggy thing on when I was doing my phony pony for about two days. So I don't know if you're supposed to or not supposed to do that, but I did. <laughs> All right, see you guys later.